some background about what, what, what we'll be learning right now. So you see these verbs, right? Von jemandem uh, or it was dative abhängen, right? So you can say ish hänge von, you know, okay. Or let's just be very practical. Ich hänge von meinem Gehalt ab, you know, I'm dependent on my salary. Okay, yeah, I'm dependent on my salary. Uh, let's say, you know, so he, you're here, you are being kind and I'm being kind and I'm, you know, providing the entire information, right? If I just say, ich hänge ab, you know, I'm just saying I'm dependent, right? And if you are paying attention, if you care about me, you'll say, okay, you are dependent, but on what are you dependent, right? Or on whom are you dependent, right? So you will have questions like this, you know, if you care about me. Now, how do you ask those questions, you know? So you'll have learned the questions, you know, was, where, the uh wessen you know how right but how do you say on whom are you dependent you know how do you say that or on what are you dependent okay or for example if i say you know i am dependent right then you will say okay you know on what are you if i say you know ish actor or let's say ish arbeiter okay so let's say you know uh if i say i work your question, you know, you can ask many questions like you work for which company or what, you know, or you can ask, uh, you know, on what are you working? You know, so how do you say, how do you ask questions like these, right? So that is what we will learn. How to, you know, what is the W word that you can use okay, for these scenarios? That is what we will learn now. So how do you learn that? You know, so, uh, so let's continue. So how do you learn that, you know? Uh, so the way to uh, ask that, let me just go back. Uh, so, you know, if I say ish hang up, okay, I know I am, uh, I depend, that's all I say, right? And you want to ask like, you know, you depend on whom? On whom do you depend or on what do you depend? This is what you are asking. How do you ask that? It's very easy. If you are asking on whom, meaning a person, or if you are asking on what, not a person, there are two different rules that you have to follow. If you are asking, uh, you know, whom, then you will have to say von. You'll have to use the preposition that can be used with this verb. And then von wem. Okay. If you it's about if it's not a person then you will have to say wo and then you will have to say the preposition wo you know von wem wo von uh over here here the questions will be you know, if it's it's about a person you will say von and because it is accusative it cannot be wem it will be vain okay and if it's not a person if it's anything but a person then you will say wo and you will say Auf. Uh, someone wants to join. You will say, you know, so you can use the same logic, right? Wo von, wo auf. But actually, it will not be wo auf, it will be wo rauf. Why wo rauf? Well, I'll tell you. Okay. Over here, you know, if I say, ich hab angst, you know, I'm afraid, you will, you'll be like, you know, of what are you afraid or of whom are you afraid, right? So if you want to ask of whom, so just use the preposition and then after preposition, you know, whom normally question is where, but here after for it is dative, so it will be vain. Okay. If it's a thing, not a person, then you will say wo and you will say for. Okay. Wo for. Okay. Now I told you here it will be R. Okay. And here I did not add the alphabet R. Here as well, I did not add the alphabet R, right? I just said wo and the preposition itself. Now, how to do that? Remember these things. This is uh, what you have to remember. If the question is about a person, then you use the preposition as it is and you use the W word. Okay. So W word can be where, vain or vain. Okay. So if the, after the preposition, if it's nominative, it will be where, accusative, then vain, dative, then vain. If the question is about anything except a person, okay, then you have to say wo, then you have to say preposition. And you add the alphabet R only 
if the preposition starts with a vowel a e i o u or a a e o u a u a you know if the preposition starts with a vowel then you have to add the alphabet r if the preposition does not start with a vowel then you don't add the alphabet r that is the reason that is the reason why here i added the alphabet r you know because it's r r is a vowel and i did not add the alphabet r over here because v v is not a vowel okay so vowel then add r if no vowel then add yeah uh yes any questions about these two rules okay any questions i know i'm not sure if i was able to explain properly please ask okay if not then yeah i have a question um please um for some of the um i am um, question v v v questions you use vo vo von and voraf i want to know the difference between them because vo von voraf why when to use vo von when to use voraf yes please yes please uh, it depends yes. on the it depends so it will check over here yeah you know so it depends over here right so i know that when i am using the verb abhangan the correct preposition with abhangan is von that's why it will be wo von when i use angs haben then i know the correct i mean i know and you should also know this is what this is what you learn if you use angs haben then the correct preposition for angs haben is for and that's why it is wo for okay when you use okay. are garden the correct preposition is an and that's why wo ran well let's play thank you yeah so yeah that's why you know like you have to learn the verbs and also which prepositions can be used along with it i know it sounds like a lot you know like how will you learn all the verbs you don't have to learn all the verbs start with 10 verbs which are relevant to your life and keep adding 10, 10 verbs every day within a month you will have 300 verbs 3 months you will have 900 verbs and 900 verbs do it for 3 more months you know and you will have 1800 verbs that's enough 1800 verbs that means you know it's a lot of it's a lot of verbs yeah I, th- i hope you understand okay so you know here maybe someone can read you know all you have to do is you just read these two columns you know wo von von beim wo auf just like that anyone beta do you mind reading oh, okay i should start with the one, first one yeah. wo von jemand etwas dativ abhängen and the question is because is a non person if it is a non person the question will be wo von and if it's related to a person if it's asked relating to a person it will be wo wem wo fem sorry von wem von wem von wem yeah wem because wem because it's dative you know if it if it, it was after it was accusative it would be von wen von Okay, now, thank you, sir. And the second one, because it is one one year man advice that if abhagen abhagen zain, that is to depend to be dependent. Therefore, if it's a non-person question related to that, you ask vraf. And if it's related to a person, alven. Yes. Alven. Very good. Uh, can you read this word one more time, please? Abhage, abhage. Abhage. You know, so depending on where you live in Germany, some people will say abhangish, some people will say abhange, depending on where you live. Okay. So here you see the alphabet R because auf starts with A and A is a vowel. Yeah, that's why R. Here you don't have the alphabet R because V is not a vowel. Yes, please. A E I O U because it's starting with A. You have to add the R there. Yes. And then next one, if a man advises accusative action, is to look out for something. And if it's related to a non-person, the question will be asked for R. And R is there because of the alphabet A, which is a vowel. And if it's related to a person, you ask. Of when because it's the the preposition beginning is beginning with of so the question will be of when yeah the next 
Act 1 will be for Yemen adverse that if acts harden, it is to be afraid. If it's relating to a non person question, it will be vote for, vote for. And the, because the, you add the vote, and because the preposition at the beginning is a four, it will ask, it will continue to make it vote for. And if it is asked to, it is it's asked be, relating to a person, it will be for them because it is a dative case. And the next one will be an adverse dative, albiting, which is to work on something. And when it's asked relating to a known person, it will be voran. And it will be voran because of the R, which is the vowel. And if it's starting with a vowel, we add an R day. Thank you so much. Most welcome. So, you know, here I have left this uh, one blank because, you know, because you never really work on someone, right? Normally you are working on something, but you know, sometimes with friends, you know, let's say, you know, we say, you know, I'm working on this guy, you know, for example, uh, yeah, you know, I'm working on my flatmate to make him uh, clean the room the way I clean it, right? So you can say, you know, then you can say, you know, ich arbeite an meinem, an meinem Mitbewohner. Then, the, you know, if I, then also the questions can be, you know, like, an wem, you know, an wem arbeitest du, again, on paper, it may sound wrong, but in real life, it's fine. Yeah. Uh, next one, anyone wants to read? If you read, you remember, you know, that's how it works. Jagdish, do you mind? Okay, if not Jagdish, let me see who else is in the call. Anyone, Kruchi, do you mind? Yeah, I can read it. Yeah, please. An jemanden denken to think of something uh, and person is anwen uber etwas akusative denken to think about something worüber uber etwas akusative nagdenken to reflect on something worüber an jemanden etwas akusative glauben to believe in some something someone or something woran when attest certify authenticate something yeah. uh, say accusative of it was accusative for for er, for er, 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 to prepare for something for yeah, right so for yeah for be writing Yes. Oh, for yes. Yes. Thank you very much, right? You know, you know, when you learn, this is not related. You know, just telling you like how you can think you are, how you can be smart about learning German, right? We are learning a language. That means, you. I mean, I think most of you just want to be able to communicate, right? You don't want to write. You don't want to read. All that it matters is that when someone is speaking, you can understand what they are saying, and when you want to say something, you can say so that the other person understands, right? your goal is just speaking and listening right and believe me guys you also know it right the best let's say you know if i meet you you know someday to make sure that i and i enjoy the conversation shut up you know just let me say whatever i want to say right you know they say right you know the best kinds of conversations happen when one person listens and the other person talks right the one who is able to say whatever he or she wants to say thinks, man, this, you know, I had a nice conversations with them. And so, you know, so you can apply the same logic. When someone is talking, you know, now that you know about these things, right? so Germans will be, you know, using these prepositions and these verbs, you know, very heavily, right? All you have to do is in between, just ask questions, you know, you know, if they say, you know, uh, uh, you know, then you're like, okay, yeah, what you, you know, you don't even have to say, what you were denk in Zinak or what you were denk Sunak. All you have to say, what you were, you know, and the German guy will think, ah, this guy understands German, you know, not like actively, but, you know, if you just say what you were, it means, you know, you know how to say it. And the German guy will, you know, keep on talking about whatever he's thinking about. And that's a conversation, right? Even though you just said what you were, but it's a five minute long conversation. Okay. So please, uh, I hope you understand, understand what I'm trying to say. Yeah. So, uh, uh, yeah, adjective ending exercise we'll do next time. Let's see. Uh, today's session is getting heavier, but 
let me see if you want to do it today or yeah let's do it today no problem you know so you have we will learn now so we will learn now how to frame sentences in passive voice in german language okay guys this is b1 so far you have only framed sentences in active voice now you have to learn passive voice it's very important you know when uh something goes wrong in a project make sure that you, you speak in passive voice you know the project was not done not to say i did not do the project the code is breaking not to say i i broke the code you know so it's important that you know passive voice so on the screen there are two sentences i eat pizza and then you have i ate pizza it's very basic but please anyone wants to tell me how do i say these things in german yeah ruchi you can start if you don't mind sorry i eat pizza pizza um no you have to say it in an active voice exactly the way it is right now yeah ich esse pizza yeah ich uh as pizza yeah ich as pizza or ich hab pizza gegessen okay. ich habe pizza gegessen yes uh so you know yeah these are the sentences how will you say them in passive voice any idea you know any any idea that you have pizza va uh pizza va <laughs> i don't know okay. i would say pizza was eaten by me <laughs> yeah yeah i mean yeah but that's not correct yeah i mean it's correct in english but in german the way you are i mean so just just a quick revision of you know like this uh, grammar ish as a pizza the verb is at the second position it is in present tense verb in present and it has been conjugated for the given subject here the verb is in preteritum right verb in vergangenheit like in past tense or past it has been conjugated for the given subject in preteritum here this is participle so i the good thing of participle so i is that you can just have to remember you know like participle so i you know if let's say if i say air then you will have to say air as test pizza and life becomes difficult when you want to say everything using preteritum about past okay so participle so i is easier because then you just have to remember what is the participle so i or perfect of the given verb essen gegessen and here in the second position you have sein or haben in present tense okay you conjugate sein or haben in present tense for the given subject haben is right most of the times you use sein when the verb the main verb is describing some kind of change in state or change in motion okay okay let's talk about how to say this in uh, can you please how to say this you know in a passive voice like you know pizza is being eaten pizza was being eaten pizza was eaten yeah pizza got eaten how to say these things in, in again you know in 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 passive voice can you please read this rush pizza word gegessen okay so you want to say if you want to say pizza is being eaten you know or the job is being done how do you say that so you say pizza you say the subject actually the object you know so like what was here the object it here becomes the subject and then you say wird i mean it's obvious that you have to use the verb werden and werden conjugate for the given subject pizza is third party singular you know rsz so ich werde du wies rsz wird right so wird and the main verb you write this in participle so i that's why we did this revision right so if you want to say something in passive voice it's nothing new you already know the verb werden so just write the verb werden conjugate for the for the given subject in present tense and the main verb you just write towards the end in participle so i format okay so here towards the end this is what you have to remember i hope you can see like you know left this box so if you want to say it in present tense you say subject i mean you understand right here the subject is actually the the object from the active voice sentence right and then you have werden you conjugate werden for the given subject and at the end you have the participle so i of the actual verb or the main verb in preteritum you will say subject instead of werden you will say wurden okay and conjugate wurden for the given subject if you want to say in using perfect or participle so i you say subject and you say sein you say participle so i and you say warden okay so sein you have to conjugate for the given subject i hope you remember the rules there is not much to remember so having 
seen the rules. Ruchi, can you tell me how do I say uh, pizza was eaten using perfect or participles? Why? Pizza follow. is gegessen worden. Very good. That's all you have to say. Okay. And do you want to try the preterito? Uh, pizza warden gegessen. Not warden, right? Now it yeah. Okay, I forgot. You have to conjugate it. I forgot to say. Yeah. You have to also conjugate okay. it. Pizza wor, uh, worded gegessen. No, wooda gegessen. Yeah, wooda. Yeah, yeah so, Again, in active voice in present tense, you say subject. Then you say warden. You conjugate warden in present tense for the given subject, and Okay. Now, you know, if you want to provide information, you know, let's say if I say, you know, pizza is being eaten or, you know, if you want to say pizza is being eaten by him or from him, right? How do you say that? You say fun and whatever you want to say, you know, like uh, I just say dative because, you know, it can be a person like, you know, fun uh, Ruchi or you can say fun Rohit or you can say, you know, fun Im, fun Ia or you can say fun, the, you know, pizza is being eaten by the groups. By, you know, by a group, fawn in a group, yeah. So you say fawn, and then you say whatever you want to say. You know, what, whoever is doing the action, you know, you that will be in dative case. Pizza wooda gegessen. So you have, if you want to say something in passive voice about past using preteritum, you say subject. You say wooden. Here in this box, I have written. You know, verden in preteritum. So, verden in preteritum is a wooden, and you conjugate it for the given subject. And I mean, it's not that difficult to remember. And the main verb you write in participles y. You know, gegessen. Again, you can write. You know, if you want to provide more information, in like you know, pizza was eaten from him. You know, from her, from the group, whatever you want to say. Fawn and after fawn, whatever you have, will be in that case. Then in participles y, you know, so pizza is gegessen worden. So you write the subject then sign in present tense conjugate for the given subject then write the verb in participle y format and warden will be there all the time okay so if i were you i would remember i would remember only the presence and the perfect one preterium you can no need to remember this one you can remember it's up to you so any questions about a passive voice it's, there is not much to you know learn over here if you remember the rules okay so what is your job i forgot to say you know like also for the previous slides you saw many verbs right not many but at least some verbs you have to write you know write try to write sentences using those verbs or using verbs with prepositions homework from this topic also will be try to write so whatever sentences you have written so far you know that those you have shared with me try to write those sentences in passive voice okay so please see if you can do that and that's the exit that's the homework you know okay any questions all right so here also uh, okay i think the rules are yeah so you know you have i mean so what do you need to learn for this you know you already are learning participles why of every verb that you want to learn you also will be using Vaden, right? So you need to know Vaden in... Yeah, Ruchi, do you mind reading this table for me? Another thing, uh, in when we say pizza word gegessen, isn't pizza the object? Yes, but I mean... Yes, but in the sentence, it's a subject, right? <laughs> Okay. Okay. Just, just clarifying because. Uh, yeah. No, like I mean, this pizza is here. It's the subject, but pizza was the object of this sentence. But here, it is the sent. It is the subject. You know. Yeah. 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 Uh, Verden, Verden, ish Verde. Uh, should I read uh, all of Verden, Verden, and then Verden? That will be nice. Yeah. Uh, Verde, worst. Where, never never where learn like this. Always learn like this. Ish werde du wirst something like that. Ich werde du wirst er es sie werd ihr werdet. So no, ich, no. So you are. It's e right. Du wirst yeah. er es sie wird ihr werdet. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. 
du wirst not wirst 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 du wirst just be fast du wirst du wirst ja es sie wird ihr werdet ich wurde du wurdest er es sie wurde ihr wurdet thank you very much yeah better you have a question thank you ruchi yeah better you have a question please ask yeah i think when she asked why pizza became the subject i think you forgot to explain it to us that this it became a subject because now it has turned from the active pa to a passive voice now we have changed it instead of saying i eat pizza now you are changing it to a passive sentence that's why the pizza became a uh, uh, the subject instead of the object if i am wrong please correct me no 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 you are right you know i mean uh yeah i really don't know how to i mean i think it was not i think i should not have said like you know like the object is now here the subject i mean you cannot you know like when you are talking right you don't say something you know you don't in your head you don't frame a sentence in active and then say okay this is a sentence in active voice and now the object will become here the subject you don't do that right so but the way you explain it's actually i mean it's better than the way i explained thank you very much i mean so here pizza is the subject but it was the object in some other sentence yeah it's like active passive you know so when you go go from active to passive voice the object of the active voice becomes the subject of the passive voice right and the other way around thank you most welcome thank you also for the explanation <laughs> I'll, i i i'll go through the recording and write that down for the next time <laughs> yeah any more questions okay if no more questions please try to you know now that you also know passive voice try saying things in passive voice you know uh i believe that's all i had to talk today uh those who are joining for the first time some of you you know if you have, i mean it's never a good idea to give advice if not asked but i will still give you <laughs> because you have joined you know when you are learning a language especially german language you know best way to do is you know to join some institute offline you know like not online whether you where you go to the classroom and the teacher teaches and you learns that's the best way to do that's how all this is way i would recommend you to do but let's say if that is not the case right you are learning on your own then you know like where do you start where do you end you know what to learn which vocabulary to learn which to which not to learn right which sentences to write the best way to do that you know is to be very selfish and write about your day you know you start let's say you wake up at 7 in the morning and you go to bed at 11 pm at night right so you have around 16 hours so you start from 7 and write whatever happens from 7 to 7:30 you know monday to friday most of our lives are quite static you know the same things happen you know from 7 to 7:30 and write that in english you know one sentence for every minute so so for 30 minutes you will have 30 sentences right and see if you can write them in german now okay and you can do this you know write 7 to 7:30 next day write 7:30 to 8 this will take around 1 to 2 months and try to write them in german i'm not saying translate word word to word but see if you can write them in german and this way you will learn the vocabulary that is important for your personal and professional life okay if i am if i were you i would focus only on the 9 to 5 that I, when i am working because that is where i want to improve my german right in my personal life i do speak german but it's usually you know mostly i speak some other language you know yes that's what i would say you should do you can take a screenshot of this if you want or i will also later post this in the group yes uh we still yeah any questions okay if not questions uh, i'll unshare my screen and then we'll learn vocabulary for 10 minutes and then we can move on yeah just let me unshare my screen and then i will uh share my screen again once i have the vocabulary page any questions please ask okay uh again those who are joining for the first time 
the best way to learn vocabulary you know again be very selfish you should buy a book you know you should get a book uh, or let me see if i have some example okay i don't have an example but you know you should get a book if you want to learn vocabulary german vocabulary you should get a book okay and that every blank book and every day take a page and divide the page into four parts okay in one part you write the nouns that you learned on that day in the next part you write all the verbs that you learned on that day in the third part you write all the adjectives or adverbs that you learned on that day and in the fourth part you can write entire sentences you know for example how i mean i think because it's b1 you don't need to learn how to ask how are you doing and so on but some sentences like you know phrases idioms that you think you should learn in german you know keep doing this every day you know within 6 months you will have uh 120 pages of vocabulary okay so your own personal dictionary i don't know what your life is all about so i cannot you know so what we can do is we can go through the vocabulary which uh gyothe recommends which gyothe thinks we should learn so we'll go through that right now yeah so i found this pdf on gyothe's website for b1 and we'll try to go through them anyone wants to read the vocabulary and try to guess the meanings if not i will help you with the meanings there is no problem anyone yeah prisha just one second yeah one second maybe yeah you can start i think we were here right if i'm not please correct me if it's yeah yeah prisha you can start Uh, should I start from the sentence or the just the words? Just, just the words. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Deutschland, Germany, der Deutsche, uh, the German people. I think the like uh, citizen, male citizens. Uh, die Deutsche is the female citizens. Um, Deutsch, the German, Deutsch, German. Uh, Europa is Europe, uh, Europe. But what is the difference between uh, this Deutsch yeah. and this Deutsch? I think the capital would be the language Deutsch. Yeah. And maybe the um that one would probably be like the people German. It's people. it's an adjective. So if you want to use, you know, German dish, right? German people or you know, you understand what I'm saying, right? It's an adjective. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um Europa is Europe. Uh they are European. Europa. It's not Europa. Read correctly, please. Europa. Um, Europa. Europa. Say. Europa. Oi. Europa. Europa is Europe. Okay. Uh, the European. Um, uh, the European male Europeans. Uh, the or European, the female Europeans, Europeans. I'm assuming. um that's the like uh, europe like uh, european like an adjective yes uh österreich that's austria the österreicher is um austrian male austrians the österreicherin is the female austrians uh österreichisch is the like austrian like adjective uh the schweiz is um the uh, Switzerland female uh yeah female citizens no no uh, it's the country the schweiz. schweiz it's it's the country like the the switzerland oh the country yeah. Oh, yeah 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 that makes sense yeah the schweiz is the male uh, switzerland and um the schweizerin is the female citizen of switzerland uh schweizer is the uh language german language the way right? i like think so the... i don't know wait let me think i have not sure please check yeah okay yeah uh schweizerish is the um adjective and um greenland is um i think it's greenland 
Yeah, even I or no, no, Greenland or Greenland. Even I'm not sure. Check. I think it's Greece. Is there some? It's Greece. Greece. It's Greece. Yeah, it's Greece. Yeah, not even Greenland. <laughs> Greece. Yeah. Yeah, it's Greece. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the creature is um, male Greeks uh, citizen. The creature is the female uh, citizens of Greece. Uh, Greekish is the adjective, yeah. and Greekish is the I think. Um, it's the language, I believe. The language, the language, yeah. Greek. Um, the Turkai is Turkey. The Turka is uh, male citizens of Turkey. The Turkin is female citizens of Turkey. Turkish is um, the I think uh, the adjective, and Turkish is the language. Uh, the Ukraine is Ukraine. The Ukraina is um, the male citizens of Ukraine. The Ukrainian, uh, the Ukrainian, um, is the female Ukrainians. Yeah, but uh, you Ukraine... please try to try to say it uh, pronounce correctly. Uh, Ukraine, Ukrainian, Ukrainian. Ukraine, Ukraine, uh, Uk you know, you, it's not you, it's U. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Ukraine, 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 um, Ukraine -ish is the adjective, and Ukraine -ish, uh, Ukraine -ish is the language. Continue, please. Again, you know, like if I were you, again, I, yeah. Uh, you know, just make a list of people who are important in your life. And if they happen to be from some other country, make an effort to learn how what their country is in German language. You know, if I were you and just learn, you know, like I, yeah, if you have people from Turkey, it's important for you. But if it's some other country, learn the correct words. Yeah. Continue, please, Prisha. Um, Der Bund, Bundes, I think, is citizen. No, if bund I'm not means, bund means even I know, but bund means like you know, like in Germany is consisting of like you know, Bundesländer. Uh, like it is, oh, yeah. I think one of it they are called as bund. You know, I if I'm not sure, yeah, okay. Uh, the Bundeskanzler, I think, is the uh, chancellor, yes. Um, the bund Bundeskanzlerin is the female chancellor. Uh, the Bundespräsident is the president, the male president, the Bundespräsident um, is the female president. Then we have um, the Bürgermeister is, I think, the uh, minister, the prime minister. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what I was afraid. Yeah, but I think it's it's a minister, but I don't know like what exactly that is. Yeah, I will skip in this vocabulary seems very irrelevant to me. Let's learn something which I think will be. I think yeah. Yeah. It's the mayor. It's a yeah, mayor. It's the mayor. It's a mayor. Okay. Yeah. Then let's see. I mean, uh, yeah. Is there anyone in the call who thinks that we should skip this and move on to better vocabulary? If no one says, we will continue, or we will. Is there anyone Can you group? please post it on the WhatsApp page for us? Sorry? Instead. Post yeah. this inside the WhatsApp page for us to go through it ourselves. Yeah. You mean, should I paste or okay, you have? Yeah, this one. You can find it online, you know. You can find it online. I'll, I'll, I'll post the group. Yeah. I and mean, the reason we are over here is that like, you can read and I can check if you, there is some... How do I say? Uh... I can improve the way you are speaking. Yes, I think this is much better. We'll do for 10 more minutes, guys. Prisha, you can read these sentences. This is much better. Okay. Um, the fat costed up Hamburg's 500 oil. Um, I think it means the travel in um, Hamburg cost 200 euros. But it is up Hamburg. So what does up mean? I mean, so the, the travel costs like 200 euros, but what does ab hambo mean? What does ab means? Mean, not means. Like onwards. Uh, so the travel cost is 200 euros onwards travel. Hamburg. 
if i ask you you know like so here you are learning you know the how to use how to do hamburg not to uh, so up means onwards if i say you no know, if i want to say monday onwards i will say ab montag you know if i say when is the project when can we expect the project okay. to start you will say you know if you want to say yuli Ju- uh, july onwards you will say ab yuli so onwards you know the so the 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 ride was 200 euros hamburg onwards yeah makes sense so hmm. like travel on was to hamburg not to hamburg okay wrong like um hamburg up next cost, oh, like um, okay so like the cost of the travel to hamburg not to hamburg hamburg mm-hmm. onwards it will cost 200 euros for example let's say you know i'm i'm mean, right now in the in city around dusseldorf so if i travel so the fart for dusseldorf nach hamburg costed 300 euro und ab hamburg with as mer as 300 euro kosten so i'm saying the travel from the 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 train ride from dusseldorf to hamburg will be around 200 euros and hamburg onwards it may be more than 300 euros ab means onwards yeah okay yeah um up next woche bleibt unser geschäft samstags geschlossen um from next week onwards the yeah, not from next week on okay you can also say from next week onwards but i okay you get the logic i believe yeah yeah next week onwards um geschäft is what geschäft uh geschäft you know Elon Musk Musk is a businessman. The like the business of yeah. the business. I think the business. Yeah. Yeah. Um is is closed on Saturdays. Yes. Okay. Mein Bruder besucht uns ab und zu. My brother visits me here and there. Yeah, so here the meaning of ab changes, okay? So in German the sometimes the words change their meaning. Ab und zu, so now you learn up and so okay up and so you know sometimes i'm like you know do you drink yeah up and so you know uh, do you go to gym up and so yeah something like that okay um abai abigen picked up bog up ist abgebogen um an der nächste kreuzung müssen müssen sie links abbiegen Yeah. I'm not sure what a begin means. Let's say you are traveling with your friend and you know he's he or she is going straight and then left and then right. How do you say, you know, like so up Oh know, yeah, so turn like turn uh, yeah, turn, turn, yeah, turn left on right something like that. Yeah. Okay, so that means that um um at the next crossing um turn left yeah you have to turn left musen yeah. um auf der abbildung sehen sie wie man das gerät einschaltet ja yeah, das abbildung mean um abbildung i'm not sure you and i'm not sure but it, it sounds like something like it will be a picture which gives you instructions you know so okay. it's like an instruction yeah. page how to turn the machine on create as machine yeah so out of the instructions you will see um how one can be brochure yeah well, okay brochure yeah maybe yeah, but there is a word for jo- brochure in german it's called brochure <laughs> brochure no, is... we we have prospect out prospect yeah, yeah okay yeah, something like that yeah but yeah i mean but from i mean again you know like i don't know the meaning of our building but like they are talking about you know how to turn the machine on you know like for example when you get well, let's say when you buy a microphone wireless microphone there is a page it tells you, you know how to connect to the bluetooth right so that can be an building yeah okay guys it's 8:39 i don't want to keep you uh, yeah Yeah, I would love to do this vocabulary, but um, yeah, we should end this because we are. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. Any questions? Any kind of questions? Any questions? Okay. Uh, yeah. 
uh, this again, you know, this vocabulary, uh, you can find this on Gyothe website. Just, you know, check Google Gyothe Bay Eyes B1 Watch Chats vocabulary. And you will find this as well. It's not that difficult to find. Please learn the vocabulary on your own. Uh, yeah, if possible, if you're not preparing for any exam, do this. Okay. Learn your own vocabulary. Yeah. Yeah. If no more questions, we will end the call. Thank you very much for joining. Thank you very much for... Have a good night. Thank you, Ruchi. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much for joining. Wish you a nice weekend ahead and we'll see each other on Monday. Do some homework. Thanks, sir. Thank Most welcome. I'll end the call after counting from five to one. Form fear, <coughs> life, go, eins. Ciao.